Hey everyone, Chorus here and welcome to this video in which I will show you uh, my recently finished Alert uh, Executioner or Imperial Steed from the Age of Sigmar Soul Wars starter set. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to say that this figure isn't entirely finished yet, so on the base, as usually with my other uh, Nighthounds models, I put on some static grass uh, here and there. The reason that this isn't done on this one is that it still need to be need to be varnished. So I'm waiting for that. Put on the varnish first, um, and then uh, stick on the the static grass. So overall, I've been using the same colors with my other night hounds. So this cloak and the body of the horse is done with the turquoise Valeva model color turquoise, highlighted with deck tan and uh, white, and shaded with black. And then again I used the mood green here uh, to create the green smoke effect um, and also did some transitions here and there like here on the bottom um, it's quite an easy transition to go from the lightest uh, turquoise mix to the to a light uh, mix of mood green and then um, also some deck tan in there and white to make it uh, as light as possible here to do a match and then start uh, fading this into the mood green and then on the base just start with the basic mood green and creating this smoke effect uh, by basically doing a an inverted uh, highlight so <laughs> shading shading where you would otherwise uh, paint on a highlight that's the, the way i achieve this uh, smoke effect i think on my other night hounds miniatures which i will so show you uh, soon in another video that is much more prominent, um, except here on the base. I've used it a bit more heavily, but um, I think the way these these uh, clouds are structured doesn't really suit uh, well that well. The the paint effect doesn't really uh, do it much justice here. Um, but on the other end, I think it's it's good to have a bit of a separation here in the colors. Um, on the official box art painting, the horse and this cloak was in a different color, but I wanted yeah, just to tie everything together, just wanted to have this in the same color. Um, what I'm not really that happy with is that on the metallics, so this is bronze, um, paint and awesome the oxidation. I think on my other night hounds it turned out a bit better, um, especially here. I think I, I overdid it a bit here on the, on the sword hilt. And also here uh, on every on the helmet on every little spot that we were that was had a bit of a, a hole in the sculpt i painted on this um this oxidation i think it's a bit uh, they overdid it a bit here on the helmet um, but on the other hand the metallics i think the the rust effects turn out uh, great here on the helmet and also a bit of a subtle uh, rust going on here on the on the chain mail um, again skin quite bright as well so good contrast and then for the cloak I basically used my uh, my regular uh, black uh, recipe um, what also special about this model is the that I assembled it completely before I started painting um, never really ran into any problems the only area which was a bit more difficult is here the, the top of the spine of the horse was a bit more difficult to reach um, and of course there are regions that you can't reach like the example of, for example the the inside of the cloak but that really wasn't a problem here since you can't can't see it let's give it a turn again large areas where i used the turquoise um, and i think here you can see on the legs uh, the shading that i did the, the color transition to the green it's a lot more clear here also painted the green here on the hooves um, and then on the on the official paint job what you can also see is that they really painted these uh, ribs as a, tr a transparent effect i just did some highlighting on there they really want to uh, to do the transparency effect here on the horse but i think it turned turned out great here as well so that wraps up this video which i gave you some highlights of this this model very nice model to paint and assemble um, by the way, this was the last model of the Soul War set, so I now completed the entire set and I'm really looking forward to creating a video where I bring all the models together, uh, show them to you, put them on a table with some scenery, uh, shoot a video about that and I think it will look great uh, to put all the models together of the Soul War set. So until that, thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye!